Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Baseball Recall. Today, I'm switching it up. I'm not doing an award category today. Today, we are doing American League Home Run Champions. I'm going to need every player to name me the home run leader in the AL every year, going back in reverse chronological order, seeing how far back they can get. Players are going to get three strikes every time you get an answer wrong. You have to stay on that set year and try and get it right, and a strike will get added to your total. Three strikes, and your round will end. To help them out, this category is a little bit tough if you don't have kind of a guiding compass. So I'm going to give them the team that that player played for year in and year out. Some of you might have a gripe with that. If you do, leave a comment down below and also like the video and subscribe to the JM Baseball channel. We appreciate you. Let's get on with the action. In 2022, with 62 home runs, it was a New York Yankee. <laughs> All right, this is my good friend Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is correct. It was not Wade Miley. That is your first strike. No. <laughs> Toxic. Toxic. No, it is um, it is Sir Aaron Judge, because I just knighted him. Aaron Judge. That is incorrect. It was DJ. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mike Ford. <laughs> Aaron Judge. That is correct. You're one for one. I will go with Aaron Judge. That is correct. 2021 was Kansas City and Toronto. Um... So Kansas City, I feel like would have to be Solaire, but he wasn't there yet. He, was, he wasn't there. So let's. Oh, Salvi Perez mm -hmm. was Kansas City. Can I go for both? Uh, the other one was Toronto. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was Vladdy had a sick year. If it wasn't for Shohei being a god, he would have yeah. been MVP. Yeah. I remember that they both hit 48 this year. Ironically enough, because I had both these guys in fantasy. Good for you. Um, first one, Toronto Blue Jay, one of my favorite players. Sorry, Yankee fans in the office, but Vladdy Jr. Mm, did right. it. Uh, and then Salvi Perez, how about it? Jack Doyle's favorite player. Look at that. That is correct. Two fellas tied mm -hmm. is what you're telling me. That's what I'm telling you. Um, I don't know. Who did tie Salvador Perez? Salvador Perez is correct. Oh. On the Blue Jays. Give it to me. What year is this? 21? 21. Ladito? Ladito. Both Good of them friend. hit 48. He better get hot. I will give you the more fun answer. Most home runs by a catcher, Salvador Perez. Nice. Kansas City Royal mm. or a Blue Jay? Or a Blue Jay. Vladdy. Vladdy is one of the answers. Yes. The other one was Salvador Perez, who went nuts that year. Oh, yeah, he did. No he went nuts. <laughs> this is a weird one. I do know it because I worked on a video for you with this. Um, famously, also, Milwaukee Brewer and Washington National um, more recently. And Padre? I don't know. But it's uh, Luke Voigt. Luke 22 Voigt. home runs. It's, uh, it's, it's not Ford. DJ LeMayu. It's Mike Ford. They didn't call Peraza up late in the year. He would have been really young. It was Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt with 22 in 60 games. How about that? Should have won MVP. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is <laughs> Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt. Luke Voigt. 2019 is a Kansas City Royal. How about Kansas City having two home runs? I games? know. I don't think that they like had another one in the 40 years before that. Let's see. Uh, I don't yeah. think that they ever did before These that. These are their only two home yeah. run champs, and they're both uh, within the last five years. Solaire was that Royal. Jorge Solaire's. And we'll never be Royals. Contract year, Jorge Solaire. Does Different it get guy. any better? Different guy. 2019, Kansas City Royal. Solaire. Solaire. Lots of home runs for the Marlins. I believe this is Jorge Soler. Yes. I think he's currently playing for the Miami Marlins. This is Jole, Ho, Jole. <laughs> Jose Soler. Jorge Soler is correct. Thank you. No problem. 2018, I think, would be impossible to get if I didn't give you the team. The yeah. team is the Oakland A's. Oh, so Chapman or Olsen. Man, it could have been Simeon, actually. Mm. I'll go Simeon. Marcus Simeon is incorrect. Damn. How many strikes do I get? You get three strikes. Chapman. Matt Chapman is incorrect. Oh, my goodness. Is it like Chris Davis? Chris Davis is correct. Ooh, interesting. Um, my gut is going to Chris Davis, but let me, let me. Yeah, I don't think that that. It's too late for like a Cespedes. I don't think Chapman or Olsen or Semyon. Yeah, let's go with Chris Davis. Crush. And you would be correct. Not crush, but. 48 home runs that year, 43 the year before, 42 the year before that. He seems to be an obvious candidate. Okay. But I could be wrong. Is it Date My Daughter, Matt Olsen? It is not, it's not. Date My Daughter, Matt Olsen. That is your first strike. 
Not Chris. Chris Davis? Chris Davis hit 48 home runs to lead the league in 2018. Hey, way to get there. Several names come to mind. I'm leaning heavily towards Matt Olson. You know what? I'm just going to throw it out. Matt Olson. Matt Olson is in for Okay. Is this Mr. 24-7 Chris Davis? That is correct. Wow. Chris Davis had a lot one year. Um, I'm going to go with Chris Davis. And you'd be correct. Nice. 2017 was a New York Yankee. 2017. Hmm. Aaron Judge. <laughs> that is correct with 52 that year. It's not DJ LeMahieu. They can eliminate it. They didn't call it Peraza yet. I think I'm going to double up and say Luke. <laughs> Aaron Judge. This is once again Aaron Judge. That's correct. Uh, Judge. It's actually DJ LeMay here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Judge. Judge is correct with 52. 2016 is a Baltimore Oriole. Chris Davis. That is incorrect. That's your final strike. Trumbo. Trumbo is correct. Hmm. Oh, this is not Chris Davis. This is Mark Trumbo. Good job. Yeah, I was going to go Chris, but he was bad by yeah, that. Yeah. He was bad by them. Oh, Strohs and Natty Bows. I believe this was a free agent year. Chris Davis. Is incorrect. With a C. Incorrect. Oh. 2016, Baltimore Oriole not named Chris Davis. You are down to your last strike. Manny Machado. It's wrong. That is incorrect. Who is it? He said his name. Trumbo? Mark Trumbo led wow. the league with 47 ding-dongs. Am I crazy to think? I think Davis might have done it earlier when he was good. I think that was like, I think I'm thinking too early for Davis. I'm going to say Mark Trumbo. Mark Trumbo is correct. Nice! <laughs> oh, uh, th this is the first guy that came into my mind then. Because this is Mark Trumbo. Mark Trumbo. 2015 is a Baltimore origin. So this is Chris Davis. That is correct. I feel like Davis had fallen off by this point, but I, I got, feel like I got to go with it. Let's go Chris Davis. Chris Davis is correct. We have 47 home runs. <sighs> um, Pass. <laughs> I'm going to say Chris Davis. And you'd be correct. All right. Wow. 2014 was a Baltimore Orioles. No way. <laughs> Can we stop with the O's, man? It's got to be Davis again. It is not Chris Davis, and that is your first strike. Another name. I hate when names pop into my head like this. The scope's the other name that popped into my head. I don't think he did it. I think Nelson Cruz had to be 2014. I'm going Nelson Cruz. And you're correct. Thank gosh. With 40 home runs, Nelson Cruz was one of three different Baltimore Orioles in three years in a row. 2014 was a Baltimore Oriole. Chris Davis. That is incorrect. It was not Chris Davis. That was your first strike. All right. Uh, shall we go with Nelson Cruz? Nelson Cruz is correct. Yes. With, four, with 40 home runs. Chris Davis. Chris Davis is incorrect. Okay. You're down to your last strike. Oh, shit. Nah, that came up quickly. Wait a minute. A name has entered. <laughs> when you think of a DH, it's this guy. Hmm. So this has got to be Nelson Cruz. That is correct. Wow. 2013 was a Baltimore Oriole. You're fucking with me. <laughs> Uh, well, this one is Chris Davis. This is this, <laughs> wow, those Isn't Orioles, man. Four in a row. This is Chris Davis. This is Chris but Davis. ridiculous. <laughs> Can we stop? That's like that's like the whole reason I di made this the category is because that part is so funny. Sickos. <laughs> the last of the Baltimore gauntlet. I'm guessing Chris Davis. That is correct. Thank you. Good God. Job. 2012 was a Detroit Tiger. I mean, <laughs> it's got to be Mickey. <laughs> I don't want to say V-Mart. I like V-Mart. I don't think it's Prince. You're so upset. I know. I'm very <laughs> agitated right now. I don't know why. Uh, Miggy. Miggy's correct. Yeah, he won MVP that year, so had to be. Okay, so I have an instant name. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has to be Mr. Triple Crown winner, Miguel Cabrera. And that would be correct. Thank you. Miguel Cabrera. That is correct. 2011 was a Toronto Blue Jay. Uh, Ho Jose Bautista, Joey Bats, just out of nowhere. Oh, God. No. Um, King. Vernon Wells. All right, I got to stop. Um, Seriously. It's either Joey Bats or Encarnacion. Joey Bats. That is correct. Thank gosh. So this is Jose Bautista. That is correct. 2010 
54 home runs. Blue Jay. I'm going to repeat Jose Bautista. That is correct. 2010, with 54 home runs, was led by a Toronto Blue Jay. <laughs> it's again. It's again Joey Bats, right? Joey All right. Bats again. All right. And 2010 was a Toronto Blue Jay. Jose Bautista. Yeah, back to back yeah. for him. 2010 was the out of nowhere, but yeah, you know what I meant. Year. There are two answers to 2009. I only want one of them. Oh, shucks. Thanks, I y'all. One of them. Nice. 2009 was both a Tampa Bay Ray and a New York Yankee. A Rod 09. That is incorrect. Ah! That is your <laughs> really glad I took off the headphones. For yeah, that. I saw that's why I did it. You have one Damn strike it. remaining. Posada, Bernie, Melky, Bobby Bray. No, it's got to be Teixeira. It's got to be Teixeira. Did I guess? If it's right. <laughs> That is correct. Nice. Nice. Mark Teixeira led the league with 39 home runs. Um, Posada was still around. Definitely wasn't him. Melky Cabrera was kicking around. He did steroids. He had a big year with San Francisco. I mean, A-Rod would be, would be like, A-Rod is my strong lead. But you did say this was the toughest one out of the 2009, so that's leaning me towards not A-Rod. Teixeira or Cano? He was then in the home run derby in 2011. Won it. Not Says heads. I don't know if you can zoom in. Says heads. Okay. So that means Mark Teixeira, final answer. That is correct. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 2009, you already mentioned, but I need you to say it again. It's it a so tie good. between Carlos Pena and Mark Teixeira with 39. <laughs> so dumb. It's fun. <laughs> it's baseball's fun. <laughs> 2008 was a Detroit Tiger. Ooh. Did he lead again? No, wait. Uh, yeah, like Prince wasn't there yet. Yeah, no, wait. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go Miggy again. That's correct. Yeah. 37. Gotta be Miggy. Miguel Cabrera. That is correct. All right. Only with 37 home runs. Wow, powerhouse. Obviously, first name we think that is Miguel Cabrera, but I don't, don't know. How many home runs? He hit 37. Not many home runs. So, that it leaves the door open for Miguel Cabrera. So I'm going to guess Miguel Cabrera. That is correct. Thank you. 2007 was a New York Yankee. A-Rod absolutely went crazy. The craziest thing about 54 homers that year? Yeah. He went like a month without a homer when he was sitting on 499 career. Like he was terrible for yeah. a while there. And he still wound up with 54 homers. Like he probably could have gone 60. Like Monster. Um, yeah, A-Rod's the lean. Bernie, Bobby, Hideki, Yahtzee. Um... <laughs> Gardner? <laughs> I don't think he was on the team yet. Um, A-Rod. That was correct. Yeah. With 54. Crazy. This is Alex Rodriguez. That was correct. Won the MVP. There's the confidence we need. 2006 was a Boston Red Sox. Poppy. Poppy went nuts that year. Only uh, Poppy on this list, though. Well, I mean, there's only one guy that I can guess. Because it wasn't Pedroia. David Ortiz. That was correct. So it's either Ortiz or Manny. <laughs> I think I'd rather be wrong and guess Ortiz than be right and guess Manny, mm. which is the dumbest logic in the world. I'm going to, this could probably be it for me. I'm going to say David Ortiz. That's correct. Oh, hey now. 54 home runs. 2005 was a New York Yankee. Alex Rodriguez. That is correct. Bold take of you. Can we stop with the fucking AL East? Holy shit. No. You got Yankees, Red Sox, Orioles. Oh my. If it's not A-Rod, good for whoever Yankee this is. A-Rod. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> this is Alex Rodriguez. That is correct. 2004 was a Boston Red Sox. Ooh. Part of me wants to go Manny, but I feel I got to go Poppy. Poppy. David Ortiz is incorrect. You're down to your last strike. <laughs> that, that look of... Because then it's like, obviously, my gut tells me I want to go Manny. But then there's like, did J.D. Drew hit like 47 homers one season or something that I'm forgetting about? Let's go Manny. Manny Ramirez is correct. Let's go. How many? <laughs> 43 home runs. This sounds like, sounds like a poppy number. I will guess. I didn't like the way you said 2004 Boston Red Sox. I didn't like the way you said it. Because... The way you said it led me to believe that it wasn't David Ortiz. But I could be overanalyzing. So I will guess David Ortiz. 
Ronnie, I'm gonna need you to leave the room. So you're you're round one there. So for some reason, Manny's coming to my head. Ortiz comes to my head too, but I think I'm gonna do the reverse. I was okay with being wrong if it wasn't Ortiz in a six. I think I'm gonna be okay if I guess Manny if it's not him in 04. Manny Ramirez. That is correct. Wow! <laughs> Look at that! That 50 50 charm. 43 home runs. Hey, we're, uh, we're creeping up. Now. We're creeping. 2003 was a Texas Ranger. Let's go with Alex Rodriguez. That's correct. This also could be A Rod. This, however, also could be Vladdy Jr. The name I was thinking of was Rafael Palmeira for some reason. Mm. But no, this has got. When did he sign that contract? No, it's got to be. A Rod. A-Rod is correct. Nice. Nice. Okay. Home runs. 2002 was a Texas Ranger. His, when it came out that he was doing steroids specifically for those Texas <laughs> years, I think everybody was like, yeah, yep, yeah, <laughs> kinda, sure. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> Sure, that makes sense. Uh, Alex Rodriguez. 2002 was a Texas Ranger. I'm going to say A-Rod again. A-Rod is correct with 57. Let's keep rolling. Don't say Texas Ranger and don't. one was a Texas Ranger. <laughs> See, I don't want to say A-Rod because I feel like this is a trick and you're like, ah, did you know actually, you know, this guy actually let it. A-Rod didn't do it for three years. Freaking idiot. Stupid sucker. Moron. A-Rod. That is correct. Nice. <laughs> 2001 was a Texas Ranger. Alex Rodriguez. Good job. He had like 160 homers over that three years span. He has 52, 57, 47, which is absurd. <laughs> You're at the year 2000. Congratulations. Nice. 2000 was a Los Angeles Angel. Oh, I thought it was going to be uh, an Oakland A in mm. Jason Giambi, but I'm glad you gave the team. Uh, all right, so Los Angeles Angel. Erstad had that year where he batted like 380, but... Yeah, let's go Vlad. Vladimir Guerrero was incorrect. Gloss. Was third Troy, Gloss. Troy Gloss. Troy Gloss. Troy Gloss. Led the American League with Fuck. 47 home runs. 2000 was a Los Angeles Angel. There's going to be some names. Let's start off with my guy, Vladdy Sr. Garrett Anderson. In my mind. Salmon's on my mind. Mm -hmm. Me when I'm hungry for salmon. Troy Gloss is on my mind. Uh, I really don't want to do it. I've had such a great time. Bye, guys. Uh, Troy Gloss. That is correct. Yes! No way, is it really? <laughs> wow! Electric. That's screwed. 1999 was a Seattle Mariner. Okay. It's two players. It could be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just sick. Uh, it would be funny for my dad if I guessed A-Rod. A-Rod's wrong. Mm. And then not... Two of my three strikes were accumulated because I said A-Rod. Mm. Would be funny. Or it could be him. If it's the kid, tip my cap, had a great, he had a great career, 630 home runs. I got to guess the guy with 696, A-Rod. A-Rod is incorrect. Yeah. He'll end at 1999. Correct answer for this one and the next two were Ken Griffey Jr. Well, a bit of a shock. It's always a little bit of a shock when Lucas doesn't pull out a win and recall. Today, it's going to be Dalton Feely who made it back to 1999. I thought the players did a good job. I thought a couple of them could have went on longer runs if a couple things turned their way. Let me know how you guys did at home, though. Leave a like on the video and leave us a comment telling us how far back you got. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the JM Baseball channel. It really helps us out. It's free to do. It's easy, and we appreciate it. And we'll see you next time for another JM Baseball trivia video.